Hey everyone and welcome back to episode 11 of Terraria 1.3. Last episode we found a bunch of new stuff. <laughs> we, we, we like really just plowed through this cavern system here and we found what I looked up and it is called a marble biome. Um, apparently we can take the walls down and make marble and things like that. We encountered Medusa, uh, the hoplites. I think I also made my grappling hook. It was either that episode or the episode previous to it, but we has we has grapple now, and it's freaking sweet. I need to use it more. I I'm so used to not having it that I wasn't really using it much earlier. But we cleaned up our inventory, and we are pretty darn ready to go back down. And I'm thinking of doing that. So the Medusa, uh, Medusa, she's like a pre-hard mode kind of like mini boss apparently, and she has a one percent chance. It's very slim, it's a 1% chance to drop the Medusa head, and it's a magic item. So it's it's something that we can obtain, and that's pretty cool. There's also vanity gear, well, okay, it's not vanity gear, but it's like rather weak. I mean, you'd probably just use it as vanity gear from the hoplites. They dropped the, it's, I guess it's called gladiator, so it's it's gladiator, I mean, it's the, the armor they wear. You can kill them, get that. And look like a general badass, if that is what you so choose. I'm going to go down there, see if we can't kill some of them. Not necessarily farm them or anything, but I want to explore that bio. We didn't do too much. Oh, and I also figured out, here's something cool. So we were we were figuring out, like, basically her range and what exactly she was doing. Uh, very much like Medusa in mythology and all that stuff. If you're looking at her, she's going to turn you into stone. So apparently she has a little tail, I guess, or her, her hair, her snake hair, kind of like freaks the hell out. And then you can look away from her, and if you were looking away from her when that happens, you don't get the stoned debuff. So that way she can't get you. Um, whether or not I'm actually going to be able to see that when it happens, eh, that's a different story. Of course, if we get <laughs> if we get hit with the stone debuff and then hoplites are beating us up, it's going to be a pretty bad day for all of us involved, namely me. I am going to make these flaming arrows before I forget. And then what I'll do is also make a bunch of torches because we have lots of gel. I'll need to make a trip uh, back up to the surface again and chop a whole bunch of trees down. Just uh, it's kind of necessary. We need some more logs. All right, cave bat. Uh, nope, nice try. You almost got me there, buddy. All right, we'll kill the cave bat. I don't want that feral bite debuff. That's no fun. We, we heck, yeah, we did. We had that last episode, I believe. They gave me blindness. It, it, apparently, it's just random debuffs. So that could get really bad really quick. And I know we don't have a elevator yet. Uh, eventually, we will have one. You stop that. Eventually, we will have one, and that'll that'll make it so much easier just to go to my caves. But right now we're, we're exploring. I, I didn't want to just like dig straight down and really bore you guys. So I'm trying to have fun in cave, like do natural caves instead of super cheesy man-made ones. This is a pretty hairy situation. Uh, should be able to deal with this no problem. I can't wait till we get the jungle vine. So that is probably my favorite of all grappling hooks. It lets you, unless there's a new one but at least the old one what it would do is let you have three gla grappling hooks in one and what it would do is you could shoot three different claws and you could split the difference so if I were to grapple right over here it would split the difference between this point and that point and I'd be about let me kill this bat I'd my character would be about here then I could have a third one and if I used it on this wall my character will basically be free floating right about here it's really cool I mean it might not make much sense if you've never seen it before. Those of you who have seen it are more than aware of what it does, but I'm trying to explain it to some new people here, because with 1.3, there has apparently been a lot of new people to Terraria. I mean, I saw it go up to the top seller on Steam and everything. So people people are, are getting Terraria, and that is a good thing, because it's an amazing game. And you should treat yourself. Is that silver? That is silver. There is some demonite over there, but it's probably not really worth it to go get that too. Okay, let's see. Can I grab this and then shoot Mr. Shelly? Yes, I can. Just kill this dude. You die now. Okay, doesn't look like you dropped anything. Let me just uh, check. Now, I need to make sure I remember I've got this grapple in case things go down. You has money. Gimme, gimme, gimme! Gimme, gimme, always gets. Gimme! Alright, we're good. 
And make sure we grab that rope. <laughs> that could have gone bad. And this was where we found a chest. There's a lot of water to deal with, but we're dealing with it. And there's some more obsidian. Oh, we also made the obsidian skull. Don't let me forget that. That's a very useful item. I do have that equipped as well. Did we get a good roll on it? Let me check. Let me kill the slime first. Should die now. Uh, we did. We got plus 2% damage. So I don't take damage from fire blocks. Alright, so let's uh, get some glow sticks at the bottom. Slime, I'm just going to try to deal with now if I can hit the little bastard. <laughs> slime. Slime, stop. Slime. Okay. There's water. Slimes are no fun near water. I'm making sure I take care of you. These guys are basically harmless when they're on land. They can still hurt you if you touch them, but they can't go anywhere. So take care of you guys. Now I'm curious to see how big this... It's, it's apparently a mini biome. I'm curious to see how mini it really is and how frequently we're going to come across these medusas and hoplites. Because they, they, they hurt. Uh, they're like, okay, this seems very small. There's a trap right there. Let's take care of that. They, they, uh, they hurt, and she's already here, so she's stunning me. And as long as they look away from her, she should be okay. Hey, bat banner! Look away. Nope, look away. Look away from that. Oh, there, there she goes. See it? She's, like, freaking out. I don't know how often she does it, but we have to pay attention. And she she will get you if you are grappled. Look at that. You, you were, like, you were defenseless. She will get you when you are grappled. you got to be careful. Uh, it'll, it'll knock you off your grapple. Just shoot a few arrows down there. Yep, just lob them in there. Looks like she is still alive and well. She's really annoying the way she runs away from you. Okay, you need to die. Basically, if there's other enemies nearby, that's uh, not a lot of fun. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. I thought... Oh, nope, there was two traps. I, I dug the one trap. There was that one. I, I got the, the dart trap, but there was apparently another explodey trap that she knocked me into when she froze me. So there goes a lot of gold that we've gotten, <laughs> but now we know Medusa is not to be fucked with. 666 arrows again. That gold down there, eh, well, considering she picked it up, it's probably gone. I'd consider just rushing down there and getting it. She, she didn't even kill me. It was a f Why are there so many TNT traps? They have to have increased that. Not much I can do about that one. Let's put this extra gold in here. Okay, you know what? Danger sense potions. These are going to be like a stable <laughs> now. So what I'm going to do, uh, I don't think I have any of them, but I have water bottles. I can get a bunch of water bottles and try to figure out what danger sense potions require. Uh, if you can even craft them. Some potions you used to not be able to craft. So there should be a water bottle here. But yeah, there was not much I could have done about that situation. It wasn't even me that got me killed. It was... Medusa who froze me and then just happened to land on that one pressure plate with a trap. That's some bullshit. That's the second time some real bullshit happened with uh, exploding traps. I, I don't even count those as deaths. Yeah, the other one was a a uh, pressure plate underneath a pot, so I couldn't see the pressure plate and I just died. And then that one was just a bullshit chain of events. Anyway, let's just give him water. And basically, he's showing me all the potions, or things, that involve water, which... There's a whole lot more than there ever was. Oh my god. Look at all these. These, like, these ones right here are basically old ones that I know. Is it, Okay, well, I guess there's two of each because each world has its own thing. So, like, right here you see Spelunker twice. Th that's because it uses uh, gold and then platinum. So there's not as many as you think. Anyway, danger sense, and it looks like there is only one danger sense. There's quite a bit of new potions. Like some of these are interesting. I know about the flasks, those are for later. Love potion. Oh, no good god. Stink potion. <laughs> Alright, danger sense potion. What do you require? Shiver thorn and cobweb. Interesting. So shiver thorn, I don't remember if it requires you to Dude, what the hell was that on his face? You see that? I don't remember what the exact requirement for Shiverthorn is to get it to, 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 to properly grow. We need clay if we're going to make pots. I think I'll do this. This is something we need to at least start. Uh, I may not make a ridiculous amount yet. I may not make like my, my super mega farm like I, I did before. But we'll do, it we'll do that eventually. We need clay to make clay pots. 
and pots will let you plant flowers and seeds and basically grow ingredients for potions. And potions are very, very good, assuming that you have the materials to keep them going. I'm still a little, little pissed that we died the way we did there, but... <laughs> Whatever, Medusa. That was the most bullshit setup. You fucking know it. Alright. There's quite a bit of clay here, and that's that's very nice. Clay sometimes is a pain in the butt to find. And you can see on the map it's red. There's quite the deposit up there at the top right. Uh, there's a little bit over here I thought I saw. It right here, just, that's just a little bit. What do we got down here? I should go kill demon eyes during the night though. I can mine clay during the day. Come at me, slime. I am mining and I will beat you. I, I am mining and I will beat you, sir. There's a lot of clay here. Awesome. So we have to fire this in a furnace to make our clay pots. I believe that's where we need, or we need to be to craft it. We'll find out here in a second. Put a bit of tin. Don't know if tin's used in a potion, so I guess. Might, might as well grab it. I can't wait to really get into the alchemy. I mean, like, just potion brewing and all that. There's a lot of potions to be looked at. Endangered sense potions? Yeah, I'm, I'm done with the bullshit on the, like that. No, let's just start making danger sense potions. That's ridiculous. There's far too many traps, apparently. I, again, I don't know if that's specific to expert mode or what, but there was never that many explos explosive traps in the regular game. Never that I remember. Holy crap. We, we, we come across them all the time. That's, that's two already. I mean, they're rare. They used to be. Oh, that water's gonna break a lot of torches. They used to be rare. Let's go with that. Alright, we're just about out of the clay we've got here. How much do we have? 200. I can't remember how many clay it takes to make one pot. I think it's a pretty annoying ratio, but we'll find out here soon. So there goes, again, a lot of those torches that we placed. But I put some on the ceiling, so we should be fine. Let's just head back home. And kill some demon eyes. So I want to get away from the... What are they called? The sunflowers? Yeah, the sunflowers. Oh, a bunch of clay there. Get away from the sunflowers. We don't want that that buff, that peaceful buff. I want more spawns. Alright, there's a zombie here. And it took a little bit of fall damage, no big deal. You can use your grappling hook to stop fall damage. Like, even if you grapple into the ground, it'll be okay. It's a little silly, but hey, whatever works. Okay, I need demon eyes. Not you guys. That right. Not zombies. Go away. I guess I didn't show anybody the Jester Arrows yet. Let's, let's show off Jester Arrows. They're fun. Now, let's, let's go find a zombie on the ground. Eh. I don't want them to be here. This, this seems to just spawn zombies in this area. It's kind of annoying. Jester Arrows are pretty. They explode. Feels like they kind of changed them. They used to hit the enemy, then explode. It looks like they pierce a little. That's quite the buff. I like that. What do they require? I think a fallen star, so they're not something you want to use a lot of. Or, not something you really can use a lot of. Kind of a pain in the butt to get a lot of fallen stars. I will, I guess, hunt for demon eyes and fallen stars throughout the night. And we'll go back home and work on our, our pottery and <laughs> our, our potion farm here in the day. Come on, give me some demon eyes. This isn't going to get me demon eyes if I go this way, is it? Nah, yeah, maybe what we should do is just go to the right side of the house here. Going to the left seems to cause a lot of zombies to spawn. I'm not sure what that's about. Maybe we'll get lucky over here on the mountain. And just use our grappling hook a little bit to help me get across. Alright. So, demon eyes. Anybody? Anything? Before I mine this massive clay over here? Sunflower, I like you, but I need, to, I need monsters to spawn. Stop. <laughs> I... I can't get demon eyes to spawn for the life of me. The fact that they're slimes makes me think it might be day. It might be day. It's kind of hard to tell when it's raining. I don't see the sun. It's probably day. Alright, let's quit wasting time. We're gonna make some potions. Yeah, there's flying fish. It's gotta be day. Let's make our clay pots. So, clay pot right there. That's, yep, take six. So when you make a really, really, really big farm, and that's usually what I do, you go through the clay real fast. So, right. <laughs> now we know. Can I get, like, one clay? 
Yeah, here we are. Just, just one. I'm making an even amount of pots. How many do I have? Forty. Okay. Let's get six more. And now I can make forty-two. Even amount. <laughs> Easy to make. So let's go back here. What's that? Silver brick. That looks pretty cool. Clay pot. You can make pink vases. Pink vases. I don't really believe they do too much for anything. Now with sil shiver thorn. Um. Again, I don't think there's a real requirement. In fact, I believe they increase the rate at which it spawns or grows because it used to be very slow. Uh, you should be able to just place it in a clay pot and have it grow. We'll find out. I think I have a few Shiverthorn seeds. If not, we can go to the, the, the ice, like the snowy biome, and then get some of them there. So what I'm doing is just hiding some area down here because I'm not going to make it pretty. This isn't my, my fancy house. My fancy house will probably be in the air. Because you avoid a lot of the enemies. Uh, we'll be making that like basically pre-hard mode. Right before we go into hard mode. Because that's when shit gets real. Alright, clay pots. Smart cursor, go the hell away. Stop it. Smart cursor, smart cursor causes problems. Okay. No, why are you smart cursoring? Stop! Give me that pot. Okay, and we'll just plop these down. That sounds about right. And we'll put some torches up top. I don't really think they require any light. Stop growing! I hate how the regular flowers grow in there, because when you're trying to place seeds, it's really annoying. However, I do believe they tried to fix that, and I, I'm going to test it here, because there's one, one flower that's present. I think I can place over that. Oh, yes, they fixed it! You can overwrite it with your seeds. Basically, what used to happen, a flower would grow, and, and it used to be more frequent than it is now. A flower would grow, and then you were trying to place your seed here, and it it wouldn't do anything. You had to get your pick out and break it and then try to place your seed. It was like a race before the next flower. It was really obnoxious. So we only have three shiver, shiver thorn seeds, so that kind of stinks. We'll place a few blink roots because they're useful. And we'll be using those for some, some things here in the near future. Plop those down. And what we can do, as much as I want to go down, down there and explore that cave, I'm a little bit done with dying to pressure plates. I mean, I can deal with the monsters, but... Pressure plates of freaking bane of my existence. <laughs> well, or rather the dynamite traps, which are triggered by those pressure plates. We'll go see what's up over here in the uh, snowy biome. Get some more shiver thorns. Should be pretty easy to amass some. Should also be pretty easy to get over here with uh, our grappling hook. I like the grappling hook. See, look, look how easy that was. No need for rope. Speaking of rope, and that rope going all the way up top. We should eventually try to find ourselves a floating island. There's a whole set of islands above you that you don't really see right now. Obviously, they're floating. And there's some really sweet items you can get out of there. Like immunity to fall damage. Oh, yeah. That's some good stuff. Alright, duck. How are you not cold, sir? Oh, they almost made it. So there's some shiver thorns. That's what we're here for. Get some seeds out of this. Get the actual flower itself. Four seeds, cool. I believe they also increase the amount of seeds you can get from harvesting these things. Yeah, it used to be like a pretty bad ratio. Like, you would harvest one and you get like one seed back. You wouldn't ever go positive. That was really obnoxious. So it made it hard to farm them. All right, so we're looking for more. And I don't think we're gonna get too lucky. They're pretty rare. Not rare, they're pretty uncommon. Let's go with that. There's one that's grown. Gimme give gimme. Give I don't remember them glowing like that. That might be a new change. Okay, there's two here. Should we have a swing? Just get them. Alright, Ice Slime. You... No, I'll just ignore you if you want to go that way. <laughs> Whatever. Get that. Look at that. Yeah, we got ten seeds already. That's way better than it used to be. I like it. No, oh, missed. <laughs> the pro oh, the something to note is when you shoot your grapple out and it's already out and extended, you can't use another one unless you have a grappling hook that has multiple grapples, such as the the jungle hook, the jungle vine. I think it's what it was called. Ivy whip. Ivy whip. That's what it is. How did I forget that name? Embarrassing. I love the ivy whip. Ivy whip. I'm sorry. I forgot your name a little bit. Oh, I still get a shiver thorn out of that. Just no seeds. Okay, I'll go back there and harvest all that. Shiverthorn will naturally spawn on snow blocks. 
just like date bloom will naturally spawn on grass blocks. That's how like they spread in the world. Like dirt blocks, I think is how you can get blink root. All that jazz. So we are pretty much good. I and mean, we've got 14. That that's plenty. Let's head home. And I want to monitor their growth to make sure that these are indeed growing. So I'll pay attention to those. Let's get our seeds out. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna love this. Oh yes, anybody who remembers the episodes when I made my plant farm. How annoying that was, how much trouble I had there. The blink root's already done. Blink root's so fast. Very easy to farm blink root. Okay, so we can start putting the seeds. Let me just quick stack. What is restock? Oh! It takes the existing item out of the chest and puts that in my image. That is a cool toggle. I like that. That is sweet. I want to put the shiver thorns in here. I'll take, I'll take five out for myself because we're gonna be making some potions. I'm not gonna need that many cobwebs. We'll need 50 because it was 10, I believe. And then we need five bottles. So this is going to be five danger sense potions. Bat banner. Might as well. So I can put the fallen stars in here. Put these in here. Uh, should I should a quick stack anything I don't need. Anything in here I can quick stack. Uh, go away, pressure plates. I'm done with you. We, <laughs> I don't like pressure plates. Mud block, dirt block, tin ore. I didn't have any tin ore in here. That's surprising. Don't have any snow blocks. Well, now we do. And red husks. These go in here. I don't need that many potions. That's just silly. Okay, so... We'll try this again. I'll bring a Night Owl potion, because it makes it nice and easy to see. Yeah, I'm sorry we got down there and then that happened. That was that was annoying. I'm going to bring an Archery potion. Uh, swiftness potion, eh, I don't really need. Generation potion, I've got regen. Water walking, no need. So it should be okay. Now, for you to start making potions, and I think I have the cobwebs. Is there one other thing I'm missing? Let me check. It... Oh, I quick stacked it. Herp derp. Oh, I'll show you what I mean here in a sec. <laughs> oh, the derps never stop. So five of those. One, two, three, four, five. And then five shiver thorns. Bam. Now I should be able to do it, right? Voila. Okay, so to be able to craft these, you have to be at... You have to be at a table with a bottle on it. Like crafting table works. That makes like an alchemy or bench, whatever you're going to call it. So there's five Danger Sense Potions. That's quite nice. That was rather easy to obtain. And... Blink Root. No, we're going to put these away. Now I don't have to carry these with me. That just doesn't make much sense. Put the clay pots in here. We have it for later. Boom. Don't need this. Put the bombs over here. And then we'll pop our well-fed buff as well. Cool. So hopefully uh, it doesn't go as bad as it did earlier. That sucked. I can't believe that happened. <laughs> Got down there, just dealing with Medusa, you know, the usual, and then frozen onto a pressure plate with a dynamite trap rigged to it. <laughs> Does it get any more unlucky? Holy crap. Oh my goodness. Alright, so there, yep, you can see a lot of these torches have been broken. That was the fall to the water. Yep, taking some fall damage. Can't wait till we get the lucky horseshoe, and that's a thing of the past. Fall damage is something you don't really worry about late game Terraria. Not one bit. You get so used to having that lucky horseshoe. Or just horseshoe. Or is it lucky horseshoe? I can't remember. Yeah, it's the lucky horseshoe. Yeah, it's the lucky horseshoe. Okay. I'm, I'm, I was thinking that for some reason that lucky was the prefix. So when I say prefix, I mean like nimble gold bell it's like the roll you get on it the stat modifier no it's it's a lucky horseshoe so let's go back down there and try to extract a little bit of revenge on her she's a jerk that that's that that went far too in her favor that was that was bs all right so we're going back down there with five danger sense potions hey i thought that was pinky for a second because he was a small slime then he had a heart so he was red <laughs> that was weird. I love that they can have those items in them, though. That's 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 very neat. 
<laughs> oh, I don't really need to kill you as far as I'm aware. We already have a hook. And we already have the actual hook that you dropped. So we have a grappling hook and the hook. Okay, so Medusa can start spawning here. We've already had her spawn here before. You need to die. Play with you. And I will absolutely grab all the cobwebs now that we know that those are for danger sense potions. Pick up blindness. Blindness for 23... What the heck? That's... That's a surprising amount of blindness. I made it so I couldn't even see that bat. I, I did not see him coming after me there. We got over here. How much that I can see? Because they don't have... You know what? We're just going to do this. I know I can press B, but if there's any other potions that I didn't want to drink, I don't want to waste them. So that's another trap. Pressure plate right there. Okay, blindness is gone. Here in crawl dads. Let's go down here. Uh, let's just shoot you in the head a few times. Down you go. Got my arrow back. Okay. Hey, at least the danger sense potion makes it pretty easy to see cobwebs, because they, they glisten. Gotta, gotta, gotta be positive here after some BS like that. Medusa, I'm not interested. I'm looking away from your ugly ass. Get out of here. Get out of here. She reminds me... Her mechanics remind me of, like, Boo from Mario. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you now. You are annoying. You're also really annoying him. I don't remember you throwing things, but... Because you're a blue skeleton. I'm gonna take you down. I don't know where she is. She was here, but I don't know where she is now. Up oh, there she is. And she's got the hoplites. I find it annoying that apparently with the Medusa head drop that you can get from her, you have to be like, st it's something to do with like the level of your head lets you see, lets you stun the enemy. Uh, she can just pretty much stun me from wherever. She's a jerk. Okay, she's, she's doing her thing down there. I see her. Now. Madam? Madam? Guess? Right there? Mmm, how's that taste, Medusa? She's doing her thing. She's doing her dance. Get out of here. I'm busy. I'm busy, sir. Okay, do your next little hissy hiss, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to just nuke you with bombs. I'm going to look away from you. Yeah, I see it. I see what you're doing. You ugly. You ugly. You G-L-Y, you ain't got no alibi. You ugly. Okay, we're stunned, but we definitely hit the skeleton, which is right next to her. No! No! We can technically get rid of that. That is Eye of Cthulhu spawning without my consent. That is basically rape. Uh, um, you, you will naturally have that happen to you as you progress, where bosses will spawn without you forcing them. To my knowledge, there's no way we're ready for the hard mode version of Eye of Cthulhu. Um, basically, what I can do to sort of tease him, if he spawns and he spawns down here, I don't even know if he will. We can teleport home and he should leave us alone. If he doesn't, he's going to basically bully me all day. Um, I'm going to set up an arena for these bosses. There's basically nothing I can do against I have Cthulhu right now. I need to go get throwing knives out of my chest, but... There's just not enough time, so I'm not gonna worry about him if he if he spawns down here We'll teleport home and that should have him or should make him despawn if we're so lucky Okay, I need to kill your ugly, but there's water below me, so I don't take fall damage I'll land into her which is gonna be really annoying Which is going to be really annoying. There's instant death. So Medusa is a real bitch <laughs> Now we're gonna be on the surface Ah, <sighs> two deaths in one episode. What the fuck is wrong with me? Man, I, I banked my gold. I'm not worried about it. 32 silver is nothing. Oh, of course, now he spawns. So here he is. He has been, His starting phase is basically the same as it's always been. It's still this little whatever you want to call it. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at you and shoot eyeballs at you phase. But there's a third phase that's a part of the new AI. And that's something that we're not ready for. I'm going to need grenades. Because it's a, apparently it's a, like a DPS check. And I agree with it. Um, yeah, there's just not much I'm going to be able to do right now. If he wants to summon a bunch of little little eyes and give me some lenses. So I can force some spawns later. That'd be cool. I don't know if it's going to work. But I'm basically expecting death. There's, I don't have an arena. Meh. Again, just not much I can do. 
We got really freaking unlucky this episode. Holy cow. Okay, kill, kill the little eyeballs, please. I can't wait till we get the... Oh, what is it? The obsidian shield. Where we don't take knockback from enemies. I can just walk through enemies then. Kill the eyeballs. Get a bunch of heart spawn or heart drops. I can heal myself. That's basically all I can do. <laughs> he's, he's got 3k HP left. We haven't even made a dent. There's nothing I'm going to do to kill him. So what I'm going to do is probably really stupid and it won't work. I'll try anyway. We're going to run and then teleport home. Wonder if this still works in expert mode or not. Not much I can do when he's hitting me like that. Is we'll teleport home and have him hopefully despawn. Use those Hermes boots. Go Hermes boots. Go Hermes boots. <laughs> Get us out of here. I'm glad I put this little uh, platform here. We'll kill these dudes. Doesn't look like any lenses are really dropping. Get a bunch of hearts. And I'm getting a bunch of fallen stars. So what we'll do, again, just keep running, make sure he's a fair distance away from home. And then we will teleport. And the hope is he despawns. So we're in the jungle and this most of this is unexplored. Let's see what we can explore before we need to run the hell away. Which is like right now, because I don't have my Hermes boots buff. I'm not running fast enough. Go! No. Go! Grapple, why'd you miss? Alright, let's teleport. Let's see. Will he despawn? He can still come over here. He can still come after me. We're going to have to wait and see. I don't know if he'll follow me in the caves. That I do not I do not know. Give me that fallen star. That's okay. I mean, I have two of the suspicious looking eyes already. I don't even need to craft them. And we can summon him when we're ready. He just killed a bunny. At least I think he did. I wasn't looking. but Pretty sure it was a bunny. That's rude. Doesn't look like he's coming back. Hey, look, Shiverthorn's growing. Good news there. Oh, that almost hit me. <laughs> Unluckiest episode ever. I think we, uh, I think we know what the title is. So, moral of the story: I'm not dealing with Medusa no more. She's evil. Why is that so red? What's that about? You see that? There's like, there's a blatant difference between colors. Huh? Don't know. But I'm not dealing with Medusa. Basically, she is a little too geared for us right now with iron armor. I mean, I can kill her if I range her down at a distance, but if I get close, nope, not happening. <laughs> well, I'm going to wrap the episode up here, guys. This is episode 11. You got to see Eye of Cthulhu. Um, I, I need to have the throwing knives or shurikens, which you can buy from the merchant. I have a bunch of throwing knives in that chest, and then use them. They're good early game weapons against him, but you want to have a boss arena? which is basically just a bunch of platforms and torches and stuff, lets you run away from them. And that's how you'll deal with them. I, the, the thing I'm worried about is his third phase. His third phase, I'll, I'll just say it now, he, he... In the second phase, he dashes at you, and then he like waits a little bit and then he dashes. His third phase is basically constant dashing, and it's ridiculous. I've seen it, and I'm a, I'm a little frightened, but we'll, we'll deal with it whenever we're ready, of course. I mean, I'll gear up and we'll, we'll set up, but... Uh, definitely not ready right now anyway guys i think i've I wasted enough time with the the world's unluckiest episode ever <laughs> i'm wrapping it up here episode 11 thank you for watching i'll see you next time